Michael Vera, and I'm a 25-year member of the Inland Boatman Union of the Pacific. We're the Marine Division of the ILWU, and we represent members up and down the West Coast, Alaska, and Hawaii. I am also a proud member of the LAUS Hands-Off Cuba Committee. It was around this time last year I was able to participate in a delegation that traveled to Cuba and was able to see firsthand the impact that U.S. policy has had for 60 plus years on the Cuban people. I traveled with the LA U.S. Hands-Off Cuba Committee and was able to participate in education with union leadership from 12 Caribbean and Latin American countries to learn their view on Cuba and also the way unionism takes place in other countries. Upon returning from Cuba, the Inland Boatman's Union passed two resolutions, one to end the embargo and the other, which I feel is more important and that can probably take place with an executive order, which is to remove Cuba off of the state sponsor of terrorist lists. I would highly recommend anybody, especially unionists, to go to Cuba yourself and take a look, see their reality, and report it back and educate people about this unjust condition that is firmly a condition that is caused by U.S. policy. There are two delegations currently preparing to go to Cuba in late April through May Day. One is the Building Relations with Cuban Labor Committee, and the other is the LAUS Hands of Cuba Committee. I would strongly urge anybody that is interested to contact Bill Camp at Building Relations with Cuban Labor Committee dot org or Mark Friedman at US Hands Off Cuba Committee dot com. It'll be a transformative experience that I think will help you convey the reality that the Cuban people live every single day. In solidarity